Hi, this is Sunny Solanki and you are tuned to Codes column. In today's video, I'll be covering how you can add a simple basic HTTP authentication to your Plotly dash dashboard or web app. Now the authentication that we are going to discuss is the basic authentication. So this one is not recommended for uh, enterprise level applications. For enterprise level applications, there is a different authentication which is based on SSO. Now this is a basic, basic authentication. So it's uh, suitable for a small application. So if you develop some dashboard or some web app and you want to share it with your friends or colleagues, then this is a good solution. Right. So now the dashboard that we are going to use in our tutorial is the one I had created in one of my previous video. So I will share the link in the description as well as in the top right corner. So before we add authentication to that dashboard, first of all, let me show you the code of that dashboard and how that dashboard looks. All right, so let me run the dashboard first and show you how it looks. So I have saved the code of the dashboard to a file name load plotly basic auth.py and I will simply run it. All right, so dashboard is up and running at this URL. So I will copy it. And let me show you how it looks. All right, so as you can see, the dashboard is a simple one. So it's uh, based on a Wine dataset, which is available from a famous uh, machine learning library named Scikit-Learn. And dataset has information about various ingredients used in creation of three different types of wines: class zero, class one, and class two. The first chart is a scatter chart, which shows the relationship between two ingredients. And you can change ingredients using these two drop downs, which are over here. As you can see, I can change the drop down. And then there is a checkbox which, if I select, then it colors the point based on the wine type. Second chart is a stacked bar chart. So it uh, let us see the average value of ingredients for wine type. So these are the average values of ingredients and class 0, class 1, and class 2 are wine types. So this is a stacked bar chart which shows the average values of uh, ingredient. So this is a dashboard to which we will add basic authentication. Right, so let's go ahead with the authentication part. So first of all, let me explain the code of the dashboard to you guys. So over here, I have a few imports which are Panda, Express, Plotly Express, Dataset, and some dash components. Over here is the code to load the data set. So over here, I have loaded wine data set. Then next is the two methods or two functions which are used to create two charts. So this function accepts different uh, parameters and based on that it will create a new figure object and return it. Then I have defined a <coughs> few widgets over here which are drop downs and multi select and checkbox. Then I have declared our web app. After declaring a web app, I have set a layout of that web app by combining all the charts and drop downs and all of that. So you can see. And then I have defined a callback. So what callback does is it links the charts or the widgets to charts. So when we change a widget state, it will change the chart as well to reflect the changes in that uh, widget state. All right. So this is the dashboard to which we will add uh, basic authentication. Now, in order to add basic authentication, we will need to first install a library name dash auth. So I will copy this and let me go to shell. So I'm using a Visual Studio Core editor and below I have terminal open and the file is saved in, in my end at the YouTube tutorials folder in plotly dash authentication folder. So I will simply copy this and say pip install dash auth. So, all right, so it's installing the library. So in my case, actually the library is already installed as you can see. I installed it before recording this video. So the library is installed. Okay, now once library is installed, let's get started with the coding part where we will introduce the authentication. Okay, so first of all, we will need to import dash underscore auth, the library that we installed. So it's a dash auth. Once you have in, uh, imported this library, next you need to declare a dictionary where you have user and password mapping. So I will say user pass mapping dictionary. So I will 
I can introduce few users and password over here. So I will say admin one, admin one. Let me introduce one two more. Admin one two three. Admin one two three. Admin four five six. Admin four five six. All right. Okay, so now that we have a dictionary uh, declared a dictionary, uh, this dictionary will be used to look for username password combinations. So we can use any one of this uh, username password combinations. Now we have imported the dash or declared uh, username password combination. Now we only need to do one line of code in order to add authentication to this dashboard. So what I will do, I will go over here and over here, I will call dash auth dot basic auth so this is the function which i will call from dash out the first uh, parameter to this argument is application and the second parameter is this dictionary mapping dictionary so that's all and we will save the result to auth so we just need to add this line of code over here to our app to add basic authentication so all right so we are done with uh, our coding part and this will add the authentication as you can see with just two three lines of code we were able to add authentication to our dashboard so let's test this code so i will go to terminal and i will run our dashboard All right so it's uh, up and running and let's test the authentication so i will go to okay so as you can see now as i entered the url it's asking me username password so let me enter a wrong one first let's say i try admin admin so it won't log in but let's say i try admin one admin one which was our first password so as soon as i entered the password correct it was able to log in and as you can see as i change the various uh, widget values it's uh, changing the dashboard so it's that simple now if i want to try a different password let's say actually chrome stores the password so what i will have to do i will have to open incognito window in order to try a new password so let's see let's try admin 123 admin 123 so as you can see the second password is working as well and as I change the widget states, the charts are changing. So our dashboard is working fine. All right. So that's it for uh, this video. In today's videos, I explain how you can create a basic dashboard. Uh, you can add basic authentication to your uh, Plotly dashboard. And so this was a very basic authentication, as I said at the beginning of the tutorial. Uh, we don't have like uh, sign up and log out and all that option that are generally available with sso authentication so yeah use it if you have a small application you want to share with friends and colleagues and want to add some basic authentication to it and if you have any doubts uh, or questions regarding this video or some other videos then please feel free to let me know in the comments section so that's it for today's video if you liked our video and you will feel that you learned something new today then give it a thumbs up Subscribe to our channel and see you next time.